Well, I thought I'd do another video about the MP203 transfer case. And that's the old TH350 out of my truck. Needs rebuilt. Take a look at this. This, of course, is where the front drive shaft goes. This is where the rear drive shaft goes. And this is where the transmission goes. It fits on those splines there. Alright, this is the vent on top and it just allows air in and out for, you know, expansion and contraction. If you're going to go in deep mud, you want to go ahead and raise this up higher and put a vent on it. Because you don't want to fill your transfer case full of water. This is where the speedometer connects. The one in my truck is actually a slightly different gearbox. The speedometer is on the opposite side. Same thing, just on a different side. And on mine is on an older year, so instead of this here, it actually has a flat flange that the drive shaft bolts onto. Here's the shift linkages. Both linkages are connected by to one lever, so one lever controls them both. This one is low, medium, and high. And then the back one, the one on the inside, locks or unlocks the center differential. It's a little stiff. One of the linkages is gone. I never got it when I got the case. No big deal. I don't really need it. That's the spare one I got. This is what the shifter lever looks like. There's an assembly. Oh, there's the other linkage. Well, it bolts on right about there, and of course, you can just reach down. All right, and as compared to on the transmission when it's folded together, it'll sit about right there. About there's an adapter that bolts in between the two of them. All right. So that's pretty much the long and short of that. Oh, it's a full-time transfer case, the 203, as opposed to like the 205 or 208 that allows you to put it in two-wheel drive, shutting off the front axle and drive shaft to save fuel on the fruit. Well, this one's all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. You don't get the two-wheel drive option. Well, well, I'm trying to. I didn't put the shifter lever assembly back on the old truck because it was old and nasty, full of grime and dirt and grease. So I got that soaking in transmission fluid for a few days. It'll come nice and clean. Work good again. I can't even hardly get it to shift. So I just left it off the truck. When I did that, I made sure to wire tie these linkages up because there's no front drive shaft on it. Either way, you don't want them linkages to come down and strike that in a bad way. It could be bad. So I tied these linkages up and then where the shifter bolts on, I've spaced it out with a couple washers on each side. That way the bolts don't go too far into the case. So you can drive it without the shift linkage. You just gotta, or the shifter, you just gotta reach through the hole in the floorboard and yank on the linkages. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So until I get that uh, shifter lever assembly rebuilt, uh, I don't have a shifter lever. And my friend was asking why I got new doors. There's not really much weather stripping left and Things were a little noisy going down the road. So I went ahead and just got new doors. It was cheaper than just buying weather stripping. I got to find a guy that had some decent parts for sale. Really cheap. Got some extra dry shafts too. So, until next time.